Well, the white powder that you see when I, well, if you see me shooting a competition, I reach in and get this little baby powder applicator. It's actually cornstarch. Uh, one aspect of my shooting that I like, and I'll kind of elaborate on it, is I like my hands slippery. They're dry. Cornstarch, when you put it on, it acts as a drying agent. It's also a little bit slippery. So, what you have to remember, if I'm shooting a revolver match, this thing is going to always be empty. So I have to get it to my to my weak hand real quick to, to to expel the spent cartridges and then reload it and put it back in my shooting hand. So there's a lot of gun transitions going on. And if the if the product is real sticky, I can't transfer a sticky object, but I can much sooner and more consistently transfer a slick object. So that's why you see my revolver grips are totally totally void of any checkering or finger grooves. That is for speed. If I go for a draw on the holster and I miss my presentation a little bit and my hand is slippery, I can get it around the gun and by the time I get it into the target zone, odds are I can squirm it around to where when that thing is level with the ground, it's going to fire consistently on target. So I'm not perfect and uh, I kind of allow myself, my technique, the slipperiness of the product that I'm working with in my hands to give me that little bit of slack. So I can still interact in a short time period consistently. I get a lot of <clears throat> people asking me how hard do you hold it, what do I need, what do, how, what do I need to do with my hands, hold it hard, handshake, drive a nail. I don't want to see any recoil. When I, when I touch off a round, if that thing jumps the least little bit, I'm in a panic mode. Because that, that little bit of time span that it's in the air is not on target. So what I have to do as a shooter or as a competitor is to keep it on target as much as I can. So if I see any jump at all, I'm losing ground. So I'm going to hold it with whatever technique it takes to keep it on the target. And I can tell you this, if you, out, if you go out and practice two or three hundred rounds, you're gonna, if you're holding that thing right, you're not going to be able to shoot much more than that. So if you can shoot all day and you're not tired, you're not holding that gun right. Okay, so I have a question to go there. Yep. Now, I don't think I can physically hold the gun where it will not recoil. Nor this, can I. This is a matter of hand strength and, and upper body strength also, is it not? Yep, yep, it, it is. But what you want to do for your size and your capability, you want to always exert as much pressure as you possibly can to, to minimize the time that the, the, the firearm is not on target. Rifle, shotgun, pistol. If you're not working to that end, it doesn't mean that you can't shoot as fast, but you're not going to be, I mean, you're not, you, you can't shoot as consistent as the other guy, but you're not going to be able to shoot as fast because that time interval of the muzzle not being on the target is your dispersion time, your split time in between shots. So it's important that you try to, to keep it on target as much as you can to keep your splits time, your splits in between shots the shortest. So 